Hey everybody, this is Terry Windsor at Info to Know. We have got some activity in the Cascadia subduction zone that we need to take a look at. So let's go. Okay, so we have got a lot of concerning activity in the northern part of the Cascadia subduction zone up here off the tip of Vancouver Island. In just little over an hour, we had eight magnitude threes and five magnitude fours. That is insane amount of activity in this area without a larger quake. I've never seen anything like this in the time I've been monitoring this. It's been quite a while. Some of you have probably seen some of my videos, so you know that I check this out quite often. And what's very strange also is I was looking over the past few days before this started, and there's no zeros or ones for like three days straight. That's not normal for this area. Not even in the Queen Charlotte Islands there isn't. And that's why it's so concerning on top of the fact that they're kind of expecting the quake to hit the southern end, not so much the northern end. But I think we definitely have to keep an eye on this. There's The last few days there have been a handful of threes. So that's pretty much what preceded this. But before I finish this, there was a researcher that on the West Coast, only the West Coast he found this, that when magnitude fours start hitting the same fault, that's a precursor to a very large quake coming. Not magnitude threes, not magnitude fives, and he didn't find that on the East Coast or anywhere else, just the West Coast. Now, some of these earthquakes did come in through Raspberry Shake, but they have been verified through NR Canada. So this is what hit. I haven't seen anything since then, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. So for those of you who live in the Cascadia subduction zone, please be on guard. Please have everything ready. And above all, please be safe because I really hope to hell this is not what's coming. This is Terry Windsor signing out.